In this video, we're gonna share with you a simple and easy way to wash the roof of your RV. So let's get to it. Hi YouTube and welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron with 3TailsRV.com. If this is your first time here, you should consider subscribing because we are dedicated to helping you with your RV. We provide you with RV accessory reviews, DIY projects, tips, tricks, and other creative stuff. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on anything. And with that out of the way, let's get started with today's topic. Spring is here and it's time to get your RV ready for the road. Cleaning the roof of your RV doesn't have to be a knee bending, back breaking chore. Removing the buildup of dirt, chalk, and other pollutants can be done simply and easily by washing the roof of your RV. This is the most cost effective way to preserve the roof of your RV, saving you time and money. This may not be one of the most glamorous and fun filled jobs, but it will help to make your home on wheels look that much better. Speaking of cleaning, if you haven't already, check out this video right up here where we show you how to clean the exterior of your RV. Here are some helpful tips for washing the roof of your RV. Always start at the front of your RV and work your way back to the ladder. Don't try and wash the roof all at once. Break it down into sections. This will help to ensure an even clean to the roof of your RV. Take small steps and look before moving. There are a lot of things up there that you can step into and cause damage or result in a falling. So some of the items that you're going to need to get started with this, you're going to need a soft bristle brush. You can get these about anywhere, you can order them online or at Amazon. You can also get them at Walmart and other convenience stores. So check out and see what one is best for you. We like to use the soft bristles. Round up a bottle, pressurized bottle and it has, you can fill that up with your uh, solution, water, your cleaning solution. It has a end that once you get it pressurized, it'll help to distribute the soap evenly onto the surface that you're working on. Another piece that you're gonna need is a hose. We like to use the collapsible ones for our RV, that way it's easier to store, and a rinse wand. We gotta use a bucket, or in our case, we're using an old trash can that's been cleaned out. Let's get to it. <laughs> The first step we're gonna do is wet the surface down. Next step we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the cleaning solution. Our next step is we're gonna be using our scrub brush and we're just gonna make passes on the roof. And for the next part, we're just gonna rinse it all off. And as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here so you can see the difference between the two. This is the side that we treated first, or cleaned first, and then that's the side that needs to be done yet. Now you're going to want to take extra care when cleaning around these areas because this is where we're going to be checking here after we get done cleaning to ensure that the decor is in good working order. So the more that you can clean the, that area, those areas where the decor is already at, the better accurate will be able to identify the decor that has needs to be fixed or replaced. What's that, fat? What's that, babe? <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget to shut the vents and the windows. Otherwise, she'll get mad. Lori and I would like to thank you for following along with us today. And if you know someone that would benefit from watching this video, go ahead and share this video with them. And if you haven't, head over to 3 where you will find more posts and projects over there. Until next time, remember, live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride. And we will see you on our next video.